Hello everybody, my name is Winifred Rada and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last video I said I would meet you um, right next to our next destination, which we are pretty much there. Um, so yeah, I'm sort of just, well, Modern Family comes on in an hour and I'm kind of waiting for that, but in the meat holy crap, there's a big cloud over it. What is this, Dragon Reese Island all over again? This looks like a weird island, man. It's like it's in three chopped up parts or something. Okay, we got a cutscene. And it's stormy, great. Look, mommy, do you see it? What has happened to this place? Dot da 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 dot dot dot. Uh okay. So this is Great Fish Island and it looks torn up. What happened to this place? What, what is the meaning of this? The island. It is We are too late. I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jaboon once lived here, but no sign of him remains. Oh, there, mommy! Who's calling me a hoe? Is it you? Hey, it's the fanny pack guy. It's the postman. Okay. Hey, man, how's it going? Uh, I don't think this is very good flying weather, but uh, whatever. So, you're here. I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeking the great spirit, Jaboon? I'm sorry to report to you that Jaboon no longer can be found here. Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this, too, is the work of the shadow in Forsaken Fortress. Well, maybe. But fear it not, Jaboon was able to flee the asylum before it was attacked. He is in a safer abode now. Well, that's good to know. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? Uh, the Hilton Hotel? On the island where you were born. On outset. Holy crap! Not even you... Not even if you were able to go to Outset now, you would not be able to find see Jaboon. The cave where he hides is sealed with a mighty stone slob, which repels all who try to pass it. Why, not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in. I must apologize, Mommy. Though, if any, I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much of a thought of the consequences. I don't know what they hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for Outset Island and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky they could not gain entrance. I have heard that when they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing that, what, I do not know. If you wish to see Jaboon, I think you'd better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. What an eerie island this is. Everywhere else, both clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Well, Luton must have, must have been right when he asked me to bring word of Jaboon to you here. He called this island cursed. Well, you know what, I really don't blame him. I would cancel again against staying here longer than you have to. But that is if that is your decision, I have told you of your Jaboon, so my task is complete. Okay, now, actually, I think I am going to decide to not to go uh, to Windfall Island right away, because there is something I'm actually going to want to do here. And I think I can do it now. I hope I can. So, Jaboon has survived. The Seed Spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind getting his attack beforehand. Yeah, there he goes saying hand after the before. That's weird. <laughs> if we're able to believe the words of the retail postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jaboon hides. Why don't we go first to Windfall and then search for them there? Alright, sure. Yeah, so there is one thing I'm going to want to do before that, and I'm going to be sailing against the wind. One thing that you can do if you're sailing against the wind is sort of zigzag there, and you will get there, and you, it's not the quickest thing in the world, but it will work. Um, is this the thing that I'm supposed to get on? Uh, yep. Okay. So you get on this thing here. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can do this as soon as you get here. Well, I mean, like, the first time you get here, you obviously have to go through those cutscenes first, as far as I'm concerned. Alright, so we'll just spiral our way up here. Uppy, uppy, uppy. Uppy, uppy. Oh, there's actually Korok here. I guess he planted the, uh, seed for the Great Deku Tree. How's that working out for you? So I am going to get on my wind wagger here, because I'm going to want to change the wind in favor of what I'm going to do. We did the song with the wind waker, and now I'm going to set the wind to west. Oh, shoot. I might have actually wanted to keep it how it was. Well, I don't know. That looks fine. It should be. Uh, well, we'll find out in just a second. We'll use our decky leaf here, and shoot. I should have kept it how it was. If I seriously run out of magic, magic, I'm going to puke all over the place. No, it looks fine, alright. 
Dude, who put that fence there? Who put that fence there? Oh, it's still fine. All right. Um, okay, now this this is a really awkward jump, but this is how you're supposed to do it, so... I'm gonna change the wind again, and I swear, if I run out of magic, I'm gonna puke on someone. Not literally, you don't have to worry about that. I'm alone right now anyway, I don't like recording these when people are around me, and I just feel awkward then. But, you know what's whatever. Alright, now this is a really super awkward jump to make, and I, if I F it up, I think I'm screwed. But, uh... Yep. SHIT! Okay, um, that was a failed attempt. I couldn't find any magic worth of crap, so I couldn't <laughs> pick up any. So, um, let me see. Well, I'm supposed to head to Windfall Island, and Windfall Island's up there. So I believe I will just meet you there at Windfall Island. I will see you there. Bye-bye. Might as well start again. Okay, I am back, and we are at Windfall, and hopefully you'll be able to hear this really funky music that plays here. Well, when this shark goes away... Will you get out of here, man? I'm trying to let him hear the cool music that plays here. Well, we're almost at Windfall Island. Will, will you get out of here? You're a purple shark, and you're harassing me. That is not cool. Get out of here. Get out of here. I say get out of here. Are we there yet? Holy crap. More like right here, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure a cutscene's supposed to occur. Well, maybe not. Who knows? Alright, here's Beetle, but, uh... Yeah, here's the music for, like, a split second. Well, now the music's gone. Okay, here we go. Here's the cutscene. It is just as the postman told us. The pirate ship stops you to avoid the drawing attention of the townsfolk. Well, it's pretty big. I'm pretty sure they're gonna notice it anyway. I know not what they're researching, but if they're hoping to get their hands on Jaboon's sacred gem, I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Mommy, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to, without them finding out about you. Okay, so it's time to, uh, well, spy on them, pretty much. And I know it's night time, and I know that it's, um, you know, so, hey, we got mail, okay. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Alright, what do you want? What do you want? Okay. Good evening. Let us know, we have one letter. Here's your letter. Okay, bless you. If you, oh, yeah, if you wish to be a true swordsman, find some knight's crest and return to me, Orca. We will, uh, well, once we get ten knight's crest, we're supposed to give them to Orca, but... Well, he gave us 20 rupees, that's pretty nice of him. Now, I know it's nighttime, and I don't know if everything's gonna be open right now, but I wanna go check really quickly. Um, for one, to see if the school is open. Uh, I doubt it is, but I might as well find out. Holy crap, it is. I was not expecting that. Well, is Miss Marie here? Seems like she is. Holy crap, she actually is. Okay, well, this is the whole reason why we got so many joy pendants. What terrible weather we have today. Little boy should be out wandering at a, at a time like this. I know. Are you kidding me? Is that all you're gonna say? Is that all you're gonna- Oh, man. Oh, I was so close. Apparently, uh, she's not gonna tell us anything. Well, uh, well, she- Apparently, she won't accept my- Oh, wait, 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 wait. You know, you shouldn't just, you know, if you're offering someone a present, you don't just stand around and, like, hope that they ask you for it. You're supposed to, you're supposed to actually give them to it. Alright, here we go. You want some of this? Well, don't just hold it up for nobody to see. Alright, you want some of this? What the heck, man? Is it because it's raining? Will you not accept my present because it's raining? I guess not. I guess not. What the frick? Okay, and, um, enough of that. Uh, also, well, I suppose if she's not gonna do anything, then I'm not gonna do anything. Well, you know what? While I'm here, I just want to see if Z Fleet game is open. Well, the door is open. Because I, I missed this the first time around, and I want to see if I can get it. Well, the guy's here. Will you let me play? Okay, apparently he'll let us play. Good, okay. So, um, we've read this crap already, so... Um, if I don't get this this first time, then I'll just cut to where I, I, I actually have gotten it, but... This is pretty much all luck based, and you have to be the high score to get the treasure. Try what you're going after. Spoosh, spoosh, stop spoosh, stop spoosh. There we go, that's Nope, nope. Here we go. Alright, of course we got the biggest one first, the easiest one to find. We are not having a lot of luck so far. Uh, okay. Nope. Well, crap. Alright, I didn't get it this time. I'll see you when I do have it. Oh, that was close. Thank you. What the hell? Um, I don't want to keep this in. Holy crap, please take this piece of fire. It's a sign of gratitude. You're so great. Um, holy crap. Uh, I hope. I don't know where I'm, I'm going to start that off. You might get some weird commentary there, but. So, uh, thanks for playing all that. What in the world? Ha okay, that's what that's what happens when you actually come when you beat it. But something else happens when you beat the high score. So I'll beat you again when I actually beat the high score. They're like everywhere, but where I shot. Okay, well we got it. We matched the high score, but I didn't beat it. Uh, okay. 
Hooray, yay, you did it, but I don't know if anything's actually gonna happen. Okay, apparently something is happening. They're uh, giving us the treasure chart. Um, so you, I guess you get the uh, you get the piece of heart if you beat it, but you don't beat the high score. You get a treasure chart if you match or beat the high score. So there we go. And okay, now that we're done screwing around, we'll actually do stuff with the pirates now, because you know that's why we're here, and I should be doing that, but I'm not. I'm screwing around playing battleship with this French guy. Okay, so, to find the pirates, you're gonna want to go to the bomb shop, the boom boom shop. Well, the bombs themselves go boom boom, the shop doesn't. Alright, it's over here. I don't know why the bomb shop is so far away from the other shops, maybe it's the, uh, the loner shops. But seeing how it's dark, it's not really gonna be open, so we're gonna have to sneak in. And, uh, I don't know what the pirates are doing in there. You would think that pirates don't really need any more bombs than they already do. Well, you know, they have cannonballs, and they're more or less the same thing, right? So I would say so, so... Oh, well, maybe they ran out, and they're getting some more. Because, you know, even pirates have errands to run now, don't you know? Well, don't you be looking around the... Oh, okay. Don't be looking around the corner, Link. Alright, come on. You're getting wet, Link. You can go faster than that, you know. Well, the light's on. I guess someone's in there. Alright. Well, let's sneak in. What's going on in here? I sure hope I have enough time for this cutscene. Oh, well, looks like we walked in on a bit of a conference. What are you doing to the bomb guy? What the heck, guys? That's not cool. Look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we absolutely got out of bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as a payback for that nasty little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? Um, this is disturbing. So I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay out such an outrageous pe price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. Yep, you know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Huh? Oh, yeah, that was smooth. Sure, it was. I tell you, the minute I saw my eyes on that mommy, I just knew he was hiding something back at outside. I wasn't, what the heck, man? So when I, when I saw that postman, I thought I pretended. I pretended that I was all worried about the kin stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. Well, that sucks. Good work, Gonzo, really. Just top notch. It's funny, though. I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown such wit, such cunning. You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetris smarts, if you two got married and had a kid... Whoa, 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 I would stop right there, baby. You're, why did I call him baby? What the heck, man? <laughs> this kid would be the greatest pirate to ever sail the seas. Yep, the greatest. Well, we would want that now, wouldn't we? See, you idiot, keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be so stupid. But all he's blushing, though. It's Tetra... Tetra Pack. Are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dock him some pay or something? <laughs> Quit goofing off, both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourself and get those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for Outset Island. Okay. Uh, what? Miss, we have to leave immediately, but it's been so long since we were on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about some we grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, uh, I, I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss. What I'm, is what I mean to say. It's just that the boys were so excited to come into town, yeah? And I can't help but it would, thinking it would be so awful on them, awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. So, what do you say we set sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? That treasure isn't going nowhere. Well, not if I can get to it first. You're with me, boys. Who's for a night of fun? Cricket, cricket, cricket. <laughs> okay, you're all fools. Do you know that? You all saw that demolished island. You saw the senseless destruction. You have to find. You have to hurry up to outside, or the same thing could happen there. Wouldn't that just suck? That's my hometown. My granny's there, huh? Not to be disrespectful, but by the sound of things, you're not. You're worried about more of that island than the treasure, miss. Uh oh, she's gonna see me. Don't be ridiculous. I want, you know, the treasure. Don't you dare looking at me. Don't be looking at me. Don't be looking at me. What I just say? Don't, especially don't be winking at me. What the heck? Alright, fine, have it your way. This is not Burger King Tetra. We can leave this town tomorrow, you big babies. Or setting sail at first light, so no sleeping in. Understood? Aye, aye. Oh. Okay. It doesn't even look like that guy's carrying the barrel. There's like a five inch gap between his hands and the barrel. Say there, brother. What's today's password again? Mego, are you serious? You forgot already. You're so useless. Today's password is Schooner, yeah? Remember? You know, that Nico would, wouldn't let you if you in if you say it exactly right. He's real picky about it. I'll say it once more. Today's password is Schooner, yeah? 
Okay, yeah, I got that. So, Schooner, right? So it's pretty useful that we heard it, that we heard in on that conversation now, isn't it? Well, now we know the password. And uh, quite the interesting conversation they had there, but I think this is all for this episode. Let's play The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, I'm Wonder Red Ryder, and I'm seeing bye. I'm seeing bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, man.